Hey, moral gamers. Shh, you hear that? Okay, I thought I heard dinosaurs outside our base. Yeah, we're taking a look at Orion Dino Horde. This is a PC exclusive, and uh, stay tuned to figure out how to win a free copy of this one. So how's Orion Dino Horde going to stack up? Keep watching. Orion Dino Horde is Horde mode. It's Horde mode, it's survival mode. It's basically, that's all it is. But it's got dinosaurs and jetpacks. Yeah. All right. So you have your base, and you have to defend against dinosaurs. And they send waves of dinosaurs after you. And it's pretty cool that way, because you have velociraptors, and then compies, and then dilophosaurus, and they keep getting bigger, until eventually you have spiniosaurus coming after you. And it takes a while to get up there, but, hey, if you can last through a spiniosaurus attack, I'd love to have you on my team. Now, it's three different types of classes. You have your recon class, who has a stealth cloaking thing, your support class, who can heal others, and you have your assault class, who gets a jetpack. Okay, not, just apart from their special abilities, there's no real reason to play as anyone. Uh, <clears throat> ultimately, you have to keep the dinosaurs from destroying your base. And it's usually going to be a power generator or power node that they'll be beating on. And once you get that power node safe, then you have to repair it if, there's, if it's damaged and move into the next wave. Pretty simple. The other thing I like about this game is that it's got dinosaurs. Who doesn't love dinosaurs? So, I don't know what more I can say about this game because it's pretty much horde mode and dinosaurs and some variations of horde mode as well. They do have a counter-op mode where basically you play as the dinosaurs, um, but even when I was online trying to get that one figured out, no one really knew how to play that one. So, yeah. But is this the right game for you? And if you love your standard first-person shooter, horde mode, last as long as you can, and upgrade your character as quickly as you can stuff, like if you like Nazi zombies in Call of Duty, this is definitely a fun game to play. And the maps get more expansive as the levels go on, because eventually you have to move around through the levels and find, like, Site B. You have to find the garage, where you get vehicles. You have to find... In, in, it just keeps expanding from there and it gets really fun the downside to this game though is is like I said its focus is on the horde mode and if you're looking for more than a horde mode match there's no compelling story there's no nothing else to really draw you in except for the horde mode and either single or multiplayer online survival morally speaking what's going on and you have dinosaurs coming at you and these are dinosaurs that are out for blood which means they will try and tear you apart they are vicious attacking carnivores if you have issues with that you may not want your kids playing it also lots of gun violence and some graphic blood and gore because hey when you shoot a dinosaur with a rocket launcher there's not a whole lot left if you have issues with these things you may not want your kids to play it other than that though um, it is a fun game, like I said. Hey, if you like this review, remember, MoralGamer, MoralGamer.com. Remember to leave comments below. We'll take, we'll pick out the top comics, top like, uh, excuse me, the top liked comments. And we'll actually, uh, we'll actually give out some, a uh, couple copies of this game to you. So, MoralGamer, MoralGamer.com. We look forward to seeing you next time.